So this is question 5, paper 2, from the SQA specimen paper for National 5 Maths. We're given a triangle, a couple of lengths, 8 centimetres, 3 centimetres, and the angle in between them, 120 degrees. And we're asked to calculate this length PR, which is opposite angle Q. Now this is either the sine rule or the cosine rule. It's actually the cosine rule. How we can tell that, I'll explain in a minute. Um, but just would like, first of all, to explain one of the conventions of naming sides and angles in triangles like this. So angle capital Q, opposite side, a small letter Q. Angle R, opposite side, small letter R. Angle P, opposite side, small letter P. Now, the sine rule, which it's not, and I'll explain how we can work that out, this is given to you in the formula sheet. It's in terms of A's, B's and C's, we would have to translate it into terms of P, Q's and R's. So the pattern's clear here that we would have P over sine P equals Q over sine Q, which equals R over sine R. And we proceed to see what do we know. We know side R. We know side P. We know angle Q. We're trying to find the little side Q. Now, unfortunately in this, the three things that we know are all in separate parts of this equation, the sine rule. One of them's there, one of them's there, and one of them's there in the three separate parts. Now, when that happens, we're not able to use it. So we know that the sine rule is not what we're going to use. The cosine rule, as given to you in your uh, formula sheet, looks like this. There's two versions. The first one starts with a side squared equals, and the second side, second version starts with the cosine of an angle equals. Now, in this case, we're asked to find the length of PR. That's little side Q. So it's not the second version, it's the first version. So we need, first of all, to translate this ABC version into a PQR version with Q squared at the front. So if we look at the pattern, there's little a, there's the other two sides squared, it's like Pythagoras' theorem. So in our case, we would have P squared plus R squared. It looks just like Pythagoras' theorem, but it's not true because this isn't the right angle. So there's a little adjustment that's made, minus twice these two sides multiplied, so P times R, and then times cos, in this case, A, so it, the angle matches the side. So this is cosine, and the angle matches the side, so it's angle Q. Now, if we look at what we know in this diagram, we know side P, we know side R, we know side P, no side R, and we know angle Q. So everything on the right-hand side of this equation, we know. And therefore, we now just substitute values. Little p, side P, is 3. Little r, side R, is 8. Minus, and that's 2 times 3, times 8, times the cosine of angle Q, and angle Q is 120 degrees. So there's our calculation, and when we've performed this, we'll know what that side squared is, and we would then have to 
uh, work out a square root of that to get the actual length of the side. Now for this we need a calculator. We're in um, the second paper. So we're allowed to use a calculator. So let's start this. So 3 squared plus 8 squared minus 2 times 3 times 8 times the cosine of 120. Cosine 120 degrees. Now you must check in your calculator that on the display and here I've got a deg showing which means I'm working in degrees. Uh, you must have a D or a DEG showing on your display, otherwise you're not in the right mode and uh, you're measuring angles in a different measure than degrees and you'll get the wrong answer. So there is the answer, 97. And that's this side squared. So we now need to work out the square root of that. And the square root of 97 square root of that answer. I haven't paid for this yet. Continue the trial. And there's the answer. So it's 9.848 and so it goes on. So PR is and we'll do it to three significant figures, 9.85 when you raise it because of this 8 that we're chopping off, 9.85 centimetres to three significant figures. You must declare, if you vandalise a number like that, you must declare what you've done. In this case, we've taken it to three significant figures. So there you have it, the cosine rule used to find that side. So two sides known and the angle in between it, that's the cosine, this version of the cosine.